good morning one and all in last class we discussed about uh, introduction regarding to multi threading in java about unit 4 okay we are discussing wha what is multi threading and what is thread what is multitasking how to perform multitasking in two ways process based multitasking and thread based multitasking and also we discussed about advantages of it and how to create main thread and what is uh, meant by java thread model and are also called as it, it is also called as thread life cycle and what are the five states of a thread life cycle in java how they are going to work one by one according to the situations and also we discussed about uh, creating threads how to create the threads in two ways Uh, we are going to create the threads. One is by implementing runnable interface by extending thread classes. We discussed them along with those examples. Okay. Now we are going to explain about uh, creating multiple threads. So how to create multiple threads? So we have to see here. Okay, na. So multiple threads means more than one thread. We need to create. So here we can uh, create one class. Class test sleep method one, so it extends a thread. So this is the we are using the keyword extends. What is the syntax? Class so test sleep method one. So it extends a thread. So that is the class we need to create with the help of a extends a keyword. So we want to create multiple threads. We have which keyword we are using. extends keyword so this is the way we need to uh, create a class for write a class for creating multiple threads and open this thread and write the run method here the main method is a starts why public it will be accessible anywhere kabatti we are using the uh, public uh, access specifier no need to explain again and again i hope all you uh, remembering those concepts so what is public private and protect and default so here we are using uh, we are we wrote uh, run method so we open a method here we need to uh, starts with uh, at least one thread na that's why we are using for loop the sequential uh, iterations so in i is equal to 1 i less than 5 i plus plus okay na then open this for loop in this loop we can write try block so already we know how many we are going to write how threads that is a thread dot uh, sleep 500 so then uh, close this try block after uh, immediately we need to write the catch block so it will uh, catch any exceptions are there so in this so uh, i we already we know what is the syntax for catch block okay na then open this catch block and print this particular uh, e uh for get exceptions and print the particular system dot out dot println of i so all these where he they can store in iterative um, variable uh, what is that iteration variable i okay na then close this uh, catch block and close the particular class so then we can uh, write the main method public static void main string ox then we can uh, multiple threads na so how we can uh, create threads first uh, with the help of constructors yes so first we can create one thread that what is the class name here test sleep method one na so you need to remember always the syntax how to create the constructors means how to create the objects how to assign the values to the particular objects with the help of new keyword okay so test sleep method one test sleep method 1 that is the class name so this is the object name t1 equal to new test sleep method 1 so and also we can create another thread here we are going to create two threads na more than one thread that is multi thread so test sleep method 1 so t2 equal to new test sleep method 1 so then how to access them with the help of this uh, syntax what is that how to call these methods so how uh, that is what uh, uh, object name dot uh, uh, thread uh, thread object name 
dot thread name dot method name thread name dot method name so what is the thread name first thread name t1 so what is the method start method so what is the thread to t2 what is that method start method so like this we can so according to using is a live method and join method so sometimes one thread needs to know when another thread is ending so a thread uh, uh, you want it's need you wants to know the second thread is ending in java <coughs> is ally method and join methods are two different method to check <coughs> whether a thread has finished its execution or not okay na so when one thread is going to execute it want to check it want to know the on the in front thread is are executing or ending or uh, not we are using <coughs> two types of different uh, methods uh, that is a uh, <coughs> li method and join methods okay na now they are uh, check whether a thread is <coughs> sorry has finished its uh, execution or not next the is a live is a live method returns true if the thread upon which is uh, it is called is uh, still running otherwise it returns uh, false if the thread is uh, <coughs> alive thread is already is in the process it will gives uh, returns uh, true if the thread upon which is called is still running ani ardham okay na otherwise it will gives false okay na finally boolean is alive is alive final boolean is alive either true or boolean zero or ones uh, you know that true true for one uh, false for zero okay na? next but join method is used more commonly than is alive method this method waits until the thread on which it is called terminated but this join method is wait until the thread is terminated okay na that is the difference between these two methods and the final <coughs> void join throws uh, interrupt except exceptions using join method we will our thread to wait until the specified uh, uh, thread completes its uh, execution and there are overloaded versions of uh, join method which allows us to specify time for which you want to wait for the specified thread to terminate and final void joining so is is the long milliseconds throws inter interrupted exception so different types of uh, methods join methods is used for different types of purposes so finally void join throws this one and uh, uh, this is a uh, overhelmed version of join method the finally void joining so it will uh, throws the interrupted exceptions next using li method my thread to dot java an output is my thread to dot java using without join method my thread one dot java using without join method okay na my thread dot java and according to that it will be go and execute what you print it will go and execute next priority of a thread so priority of a um, priority of a thread here it is also called as a thread priority it's also called as a thread priority so each thread have a priority each and every thread have its own priority priorities are represented by a number between 1 and 10 so according to this especially in java the priorities are represented by number uh, between 1 and 10 so in most cases mostly a thread scheduler schedules the threads according to their priority so most of the thread schedulers schedules the 
threads according to the priority known as preemptive scheduling that is also called as a preemptive scheduling in the operating system we are going to learn in the other uh, semesters operating systems in this we are having so many scheduling algorithms okay sjf scheduling uh, round robin scheduling uh, FIFO, uh, first in first out scheduling first in last out scheduling okay na uh, preemptive and non preemptive scheduling okay na this is called preemptive scheduling what is meant by in most cases thread scheduler schedules the threads according to their priority so that is known as preemptive scheduling but it is not uh, guaranteed because it depends on jvm specification that which scheduling it chooses three constants uh, defines in uh, thread classes so according to that it can uh, specify three constants according defines the thread classes the first one public static int min underscore priority and minimum priority min underscore priority so public static int min underscore priority second one public static int okay norm underscore priority normal priority and third one public static int max underscore priority so these are the thread priorities what is the first one minimum priority min underscore priority second one normal uh, priority norm uh, n o r m underscore priority third one max underscore priority maximum priority so this priority is represented by the number between 1 and 10 so the priority of a thread thread priority so here default priority of a thread is 5 so automatically that the default priority of a thread is what 5 so that is a normal priority default carpet is a normal priority the value of minimum priority is 1 and the value of maximum priority is 10 so normal fri priority default ka, each thread have its own priority that is what 5 the value of the minimum priority is uh, at least it starts from what 1 the maximum value priority is uh, uh, 10 that is max priority next according to this so we need to write a particular priority of a thread so that is it uh, cla class test multi priority one extends a thread here we can write the run method then we can print this uh, thread name is uh, plus thread dot current thread get name so here get priority get name get priority these are the methods we are using to create the threads get priority set priority even we are having so already I explained these concepts in uh, my videos we have to see in DBS talks so then we can write the main method and we can create the objects or constructors this is the multi uh, threading uh, we are creating multiple threads here then we can uh, call them is a set priority so how we can set this priority with a thread dot minimum priority thread dot minimum priority first uh, mm, uh, one we are going to create with minimum priority second m2 dot that is a uh, the thread dot max priority we can set that set the max priority then we can call them we can access them how to access them uh, thread name dot method name so m1 dot start method m2 dot start method so according to we will get the priority this is very easy to understand these programs so next uh, synchronization so what is synchronization next concept when two or more threads need access to a shared resources they need some way to ensure that the resource will be used by only one thread at the at a time that is called synchronization so it's not uh, uh, opposite to parallelization parallelization okay na? so see see synchronization means one by one okay na? that is what synchronization when two or more threads need access to a shared resources they want to access uh, a shared resources more than one thread 
they need some way to ensure that the resource will be used by only one thread at a time but uh, at a time only one thread will, will uh, uh, access the particular or ensure the particular resources rather than multiple threads the process by which this is achieved is called synchronization so whatever the process is going on according to above point this is called synchronization as you will see java provide unique and uh, language level support for it so, and key to synchronization is the concept of the monitor okay now a monitor is an object that is used as a manually exclusive lock so that is the best example for synchronization is monitor so the monitor is an object as it is an object that is used as a mutually exclusive lock so that is the synchronization next and also another points only one thread can own a monitor at a given time as yes, one thread uh, can own a monitor at a given time when a thread acquires a lock so it is said to have entered the monitor okay all other threads attempting to enter the locked monitor will be suspended until the first thread exits the monitor so that is by using using synchronized methods using synchronized block so that is what synchronization and also only one thread can own a monitor at a given time okay when a thread acquires a lock it is said have entered the monitor so then all other threads attempts to enter the lock monitor will suspends until the first thread exits the monitor so here we are using the syntax for synchronization syncro dot java or uh, syncro one dot java Alla, we can give the names to that particular thread synchronizing threads so synchro synchro dot java synchro one dot java synchro one two dot java and next one inter threaded communication in java so what is inter threaded communication so inter threaded communication or cooperation it is also called as a cooperation is all about allowing synchronized threads to communicate with other each other so that is called inter thread communication or cooperation com, uh, communication in java what is that so is all about allowing synchronized threads to communicate with each other so what are the threads are synchronized one by one so they are that allows to they the allowing the particular synchronized threads for what to communicate with each other so and also that is called cooperation the cooperation means internal thread communication cooperation is nothing but internal thread communication so what thread it is a sub process sub program it is a sub process actually see is a mechanism in which a thread is passed running in its critical section and another thread is allowed to enter or lock in the same critical session to be executed so that is the internal thread communication and also it is implicitly by following methods of object classes so we want to in perform the inter thread communication so we it's implicitly following some uh, uh, methods of object classes what are those methods of particular object classes we, we are having mostly three different types of object uh, class three methods of object classes first one wait method second one notify method third one notify all method what are those methods of object classes when you are using to inter thread communication how many three mostly what is the first one wait method second one notify method uh, third one notify all method next in and also so what is wait method we have to see so causes current thread to release the lock and wait until either another thread invokes the notify method so that is the wait method 
so or notify all method for the objects or a specified amount of time has elapsed so that is wait method what is that the causes of current thread so edaithe current thread undo run avutundo based on that uh, 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 causes the thread is to release may, mo, mo, sometimes the lock release the lock and wait until either another thread so it release the lock and wait for until either another thread invokes that notifies uh, method or the notify all method for this object or a specified amount of time has elapsed next that is some time is uh, we need to wait so that is a uh, elapsed time so that is called wait method next notify method wakes up a single thread that is waiting on this objects monitor so if any threads are waiting on the objects one of them is chosen to be evoked so in objects ane wait chesin anukondi another thread anedi it will be going to chosen for, to be evoked the choice is arbitrary and occurs at the direction of the implementation so that is a notify method next notify all method so wake up all threads that are waiting on this objects monitor evaithe threads wait chestunayo monitor meeda its wake up all threads what they are waiting so that is these are the three object class methods we are using to perform inter thread communication what are the threads are synchronized one by one okay now wait method or notify method or notify all method so according to that uh, uh, thread name so we need to call them next suspending resuming and stopping threads so suspending resuming and so stopping threads we have to see what are those while the suspend method resume method and stop methods defines by defined by thread classes so the with the help of these uh, thread classes or the thread classes defines so uh, while suspend method resume method and stop method seems to be perfectly reasonable and convenient approach to managing the execution of threads so perfectly reasonable and convenient approach to managing the execution of threads they must not be used for few new java programs and uh, absolute in never version of java the wait and notify the wait method and notify methods are the inherited from object can be used to control the execution of a thread in general we are not using this type of method now we are using mostly the wait methods and notify methods so i hope all you understood uh, 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 what is multi thread uh, how to create multiple threads so we need to create multiple threads we are using ex, uh, extends thread uh, keyword so that is a uh, uh, already we discussed so we need to print uh, according to that threads we are you need to get the threads first according to their uh, name and also we are creating the uh, thread objects so then we can uh, assign those uh, Uh, thread class to the particular thread objects then we can uh, access those uh, uh, minimum priority and maximum priority of those threads then we can uh, access them according to the thread name with the method name so and uh, and also we discussed about uh, uh, priority of the threads so what is the 
uh, how minimum priority and what is max priority and what is average priority or the minimum ma average priority is uh, also called uh, uh, so normal priority is also called as default priority it sets with uh, uh, five uh, max priority is uh, up to sets with uh, ten. Minimum priority is a st st set with uh, one. Okay, na. Uh, so according to then, what is synchronization? And so what is the use of synchronization? And uh, and also we can say uh, what is interthread communication in Java. What is the importance of interthread communication? How to perform this interthread communication and how to implement it with the help of object class methods? So, what is wait method? What is wait notify method and notify all method? And also, we can see the, de the definitions according to that, and we, uh, we can define it just what is uh, sus suspending method, run resuming method, and stopping threads. Okay. I hope all you understood the basics regarding um, to the multi-threading. Okay, thank you, thank you, one and all.